fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. What's up, y'all? What's going on, guys? We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. Y'all have been asking for a very long time to us for us to check out the Graham Norton show, and we're finally doing it. Let's see. Yep. We already checked out, at the time of this video's recording, uh, Miriam Margoyles. Yep. That lady has got some stories. That's... She is one of my favorite ladies. Yeah. She's awesome. We're going to go drink it with her if we ever get the chance. Yep. I'm not I'm not sure if we've already released it or we're going to release it. So uh, if you're not a Patreon, you probably already know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, when we record these, like, we don't really uh, do it with a date in mind. No, we, just, we, we batch them. We just batch them and find out what will what'll do best when, <laughs> blah, 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 yeah. blah. Yep. Uh, so we'll, we're Let's, probably going to laugh. Yeah. We're going to break the whole try not to laugh thing. Let's see. Let's go. And don't answer this question if you don't want to matter. Okay. But I have, I don't know why you brought this up, but I did hear you discuss that you had an extraordinary disagreement uh, with your wife about yourself. Do you know what I'm talking about? By myself, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Uh, <coughs> listen, yes. listen, I mean, do you know um, this story? I do not know listen this Listen with story. interest. Uh, well, 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 one night, as you do, we were talking about stuff. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And uh, I just have no interest in, and of course, being circumcised, I said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were chatting, they're married, they're married, they're allowed. <laughs> and she said, she said, you're not circumcised. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? You've only known me a few, I, I, all my life. I remember my mother telling me why, because it was fashionable at the time. She said, you're not circumcised. I said, that's ridiculous. I should know if I'm circumcised. <laughs> of course I am. End of conversation. But the next day, I happened to be seeing my doctor. For... Are you okay? <laughs> I, I, I was seeing my doctor for my annual physical. Of course. So, uh, while he was down there, <laughs> I said, um, Excuse me, oh, oh, by the way, uh, Irv, um, <laughs> the, my wife and I had a little disagreement. Um, <clears throat> I, I am circumcised, <laughs> aren't I? Because she says I'm not. And he goes, <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh, you should so know if you're circumcised funny. or that's not. That's so funny. Oh, dude, Patrick Stewart. Eh. I love that. It's eh. kind of like, it's just, I. That's funny. Hearing it from you know Picard from Star Trek, is like, it makes makes it easier to digest. It's just well, well see. That's not that's the your, right terminology. I'm that's sorry. That's your Picard. That's my. That's my that's the that's the professor, man. Oh from X Men. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That you know, it's just They oh. all come to them from different uh walks of yeah. life. Oh god. He said, No, 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 it's not possible. So he looked down again and he said, Hey, I'm Jewish. I know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bizarre story. Too much <laughs> Oh. I have grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, we were actually doing a Try Not to Laugh challenge. Oh, we would have yeah. lost already. Yeah. Um, oh, man. You're going to have to change your Facebook status now. <laughs> <laughs> no more beef stew. <laughs> There's more beef stew. <laughs> Were you born in Hawaii? I wasn't born in Hawaii. I but was you lived born there. in San Francisco, but I but did a lot of my growing up there. Yeah. So yeah, I so it was you were it was born amazing. Here. I don't know. I don't think no. You told me. I I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know it's gonna be good when The Rock and Kevin Hart are they, on a they, one show. They have. They have a bromance. Yes. Those guys, uh, like, they just so happen to to do films together. Uh-huh. They are friends first and foremost. Yeah. That's what it looks like. 
from their relationship. Right, right. And they and they can poke fun at each other as much as they want. Yeah. And you know it's it's friendly. And it's, it's all like, in good fun. It's just fun. such a weird dynamic of friends. Yeah. Like, look at this giant of a man. Uh huh. And, and whatever the anti of that is, is that's Kevin Hart. Hart. Yeah. <laughs> so it's perfect, man. Exactly. No, you told me. I, I didn't. Say you told me. No, I told you. I swore you said. I've known you for years. I've always said I was. Well, when we were there, you gave me a big speech like, this is my land. I started. <laughs> <laughs> I swore you told me. Yeah, I'll that with that. Now, all of a sudden, San Fran. That was San Fran that I transferred. When we were there, you gave me a big. Like spiritual speech about how it all started. How your mother held you over this cliff. <laughs> this is a cliff where I was born and my mother gave me. <laughs> this is the problem. Yes. Try, yeah, try to be respectful. Hawaii was beautiful. Beautiful, uh, you know, mountainside and lushness. And, and uh, we shot in this beautiful place called Kualoa Ranch where uh, Jurassic Park, the original Jurassic Park okay. was shot and the ones uh, after that as well. And it was just amazing. But you didn't like it, Kevin. He hated it. No, no this no, is no, the no. problem. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. I mean, outside of the, the spiritual grounds that you took me to. And I swore, you even <laughs> sung a song. You were like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I remember... I, Specific. We'll talk about it really? later. Well, how did the song go? The song, you were like, Same. you were like, Kula Matana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like an original. <laughs> <laughs> so did you bring your medals with you? No. Yeah. Oh, we did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so before we get to this, one of them had to have, have some alcohol in them to either remember a story like this or... Forget a story like this. Or forget it, or to go out and... Claim that you're an ancient Hawaiian. I'm just, by the way, I'm just wearing the shirt here. I'm not Hawaiian at all. You can tell that by my um, milky complexion. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any tribal tattoos on you. Uh-uh, no. Uh -oh. I have no tattoos on me. <laughs> Uh, so did you bring your medals with you? No. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you might be wearing them. Oh, quite oh no, they're just casually in the back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we go off it. Look, over. these are proper, yeah. proper Olympic, Olympic medals. Yeah. Wow. They're, they're, Marion, have you seen an Olympic it's medal? Yeah. I actually <laughs> did. It was the French people beat us. Oh, was it French people beat you? Oh, the French got gold. We'll have to go so, out to them, boys. Um, uh, is there anyone in Ireland who hasn't seen those medals? <laughs> they, look, they look like being around the block, those medals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're fairly casual, yeah. And, of course, uh, now, Michael, down in uh, Killarney, word must have reached you of the O'Donovan brothers. Oh, for sure. I mean, I wasn't in Killarney at the time, but uh, everybody <laughs> knew about it. That's for sure, yeah. yeah. And, uh, Marion, watching that clip, on the, could you understand the accents? Nothing, not a word. <laughs> I, underst I understood since... <laughs> Just that one. Like, what the movie says with Michael with his tick carry accent. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, because uh, the people people love the interviews you did uh, during the Olympics, but like you guys knew you were being funny while you were doing the interviews. I don't know. I, mean, <laughs> uh, I think it was funny because they were being themselves. Yeah. Okay. Well, to be fair, we weren't trying well, we weren't to be serious, serious yeah. like, but yeah. it just, yeah. You did it just kind of happened that way, like, You yeah. did seem very well, happy to be in Rio. I yeah. was quite serious about the whole situation, though. Every time we told, it's the truth, like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, like, people ask us these questions all the time after races. It just so happened they put a camera in front of us in Rio. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you won a silver medal, so suddenly but everyone yeah, was yeah, interested. Yeah, yeah. But, but this is, but the great thing is, this is, like, Ireland has never won any medal in rowing before, have they? Well, no, not at the Olympics, not no, they have a few World Championship yeah, titles, yeah. all right, but yeah. it's the, the first Olympic medal, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> all right. And the interview where you... Now, I, I'm having a hard time understanding they... their accents. Oh, yeah, that's pretty at times. tough, man. I mean, we yeah. did a whole Irish week, yeah. and, I, and I've talked on the channel of, like, the uh, Irish crew that I hang with in Maryland, so... At the same time, I still can't fucking understand like, them. <laughs> what? Um, so, okay, I missed that part. They play second in rowing in Brazil. Yeah, so this Holy is 2016. Yeah. They, are, they are in the sun. Oh. 
<laughs> oh man, because that, that's not an indoor event. Uh uh-uh, uh. That's uh-uh. pretty. Hey. And I've told you, I've got Irish blood in me. We do not tan. It must have been rainy. It's either mayonnaise or tomato. <laughs> it must have That's been, what you get. It must have been a rainy day in Brazil. Uh. Because uh, they are not charred. Nope, nope, nope. Wow. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you talked about your approach to the race. Uh, the phrases you used in that. So explain to the people what you what you said in that. Do, do you know which one? Yeah. Yeah. About going A to B fast as you can. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Tis a, a fairly simple sport, like. People do complicate it, like. And you, <laughs> yeah. you know, your men says go at the start and there's a hooter at the finish, and if you can get them. <laughs> Go to the hooter, then. Go like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think, this is based on your life. I mean, this is things. Yeah, but. I mean. <laughs> Loosely, Graham. No, but things like, isn't the washing machine, that happened to you. What? The, the washing. You were very hungover. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> Tony Foster, that story. <laughs> All their stories are really cool, though, Graham. When I was teaching, which is what this show is based on, I, I went home one weekend, and I was in my 30s. I was probably 33 years of age. I went home to see my uh, mother, and then I went back. And while I was at home, my mother did my washing for me, because I was only 33. <laughs> and then I went back, and on the, on the Sunday night, I got really drunk, uh, and then I, I went for a curry, and then uh. the next day I went into school. <laughs> I'm going to. I went into school, and it was a school in Slough, and it was a, quite a rough school, but they had a really brilliant hearing impaired department, so there were he- hearing impaired kids who, uh, you know, struggled. Mm. They, were, they were really looked after in the school. Anyway, I was really hungover. I went there, and about break time, I felt really uncomfortable. I thought, something's not right, you know? <laughs> So I went to the toilet, and I pulled my trousers down, and uh, uh, some of my mother's knickers had got... <laughs> I got mixed up in the wash she'd done, and I was wearing my mother's underwear. <laughs> and I went, oh, God, oh, no! Oh, I remember going, oh, you loser, this is <laughs> such a low point, you fucking loser. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and then... The curry and the booze, the curry and the booze kicked in from the night before. So I, I, I did like a fecal Jackson Pollock. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Dude, so he was a teacher. So he played that role perfectly. Oh and in between man! Us. And <laughs> it's just like all the times that we've seen him, like. Outside of in betweeners, oh, he plays such an alpha character on yeah. there. And then you hear him tell stories like he's beta as yeah, fuck. He's man. so funny, man. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Just Ew. brings him right back Ew. down to reality. Ew, a fecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> fecal Jackson. God. Oh god. Okay. Okay. And I'm starting. I'm starting going. Oh god, not this. Not this as well. Oh Jesus. So I cleaned myself up and I pulled my mother's pants back up. <laughs> and I went back into the um, classroom and I saw one of the hearing impaired kids just looking at me like this. <laughs> and that's when I remembered that my, I had a microphone directly. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! Oh, Ugh. that's gotta be the worst. Of course, that would, of course that would happen. Oh, oh, dude, had a microphone on him still. <laughs> oh God, that's funny. As oh, shit. that is <clears throat> that is the shittiest of shitty situations. God, it's always on this channel. Uh, I I start to think that Brits are like classy and proper. <laughs> And then they tell these kind of stories. Toilet humor. Love it. You know, they revere you, so they, they look to you. But the other thing you inspire is impressions, people doing impressions. Now, when people do impressions of you, is it like sort of nails on a chalkboard, or do you kind of enjoy it? No, I, I kind of enjoy it, especially if they do it well. <laughs> uh, so, no, I, I, it's, it's great. It's, it's, I love it. 
I only ask. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, because, because uh, any Hiddlestoners watching will know, uh, Tom Hiddleston does impression. You do impression of lots of people. So who is in your canon? <laughs> it's a, it's a expression of admiration, just to be clear. Um, so I do, I do uh, impressions of people that I, I admire, and I sort of listen to them. I, I, the first time I did an impression of, um, that anyone was aware of, I was just telling a story about Midnight in Paris, the Woody Allen film I was in, and how I never read the whole script, and I, and I thought it was set in the 20s. And um, I turned up, and I bumped into Owen Wilson, who didn't look like he was in the 20s at all. Uh, and, uh, and I said to him, I said, so wait, hang on, who are you playing? Because I'm playing F. Scott Fitzgerald, and I know Corey Stoll's playing Ernest Hemingway, and we're all playing figures of history. And he went, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm from now. I go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a time machine. And, uh, it's kind of it's cool, and it's kind of woody, and you just kind of, it's kind of awesome. Uh, <laughs> Very good. But, but, uh, I've done, I've done, I mean, I've, done, I've been made to do impressions of my fellow Avengers. Um, uh, I think everyone does an impression of Christopher Walken because he's just, he's such an easy kind of... <laughs> you know, I feel like what this show needs is more cowbell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it depends on what you like me to say. <laughs> Basically, there's no punctuation. <laughs> Anything that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> I like that. Not bad, not bad. I know whole pages of heat. You surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, there's this, there's a scene in the middle of the film, which you'll be familiar with. You were there. <laughs> <laughs> the one person you don't need to explain it to. <laughs> so there's, there's, there's <laughs> He, you're, he very, remembers. You're very good in this. He game. remembers. Yeah. There's a scene in the, in the middle of the film, which is because uh, because uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about this. Don't worry. They're, they're, they're separated like a great thriller. They're separated from for the entire film, and they meet twice: once at the end, and once in the middle. And it takes place at a restaurant in LA. It's a great scene. It's one of the great pieces of screen acting you can hope to watch. There it is. It's, there's a picture of it. It's like a it's a mutual recognition of. Each other. Anyway, so there's a bit where. Oh my God! Get to get it. Get to it. <laughs> he's, he's explaining like, it so much. Just get to it. Oh my God. Yeah. <sighs> like De Niro, though, is intimidating in his old age. Yeah, he is. Because like, yeah, okay, not physically intimidating, but he'll put a hit on you. Uh huh. Yeah, you, you don't want to <laughs> piss him off. <laughs> yeah, no. No. Mm -hmm. No. Oh man. Uh, they, ha they, they sit and have coffee and have tea and talk about stuff. I'm going on, I apologize. Oh. <laughs> he goes, uh, Al Pacino at one point, Al Pacino says this, he goes, uh, So. <laughs> <laughs> We're sitting here like a couple of regular fellas. I mean, uh, you do what you do. I do what I got to do. If I'm there. <laughs> and I gotta put you away. I won't like it. But if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, brother, you are going down. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. And, then, and so then, and then it cut, and then Michael Mann cuts back to the esteemed gentleman at the end of the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> what if you do got me boxed in? I'm not gonna put you down. We've been face to face. Yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. That's my. Hey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> not bad. This is I hope. This is so meta. <laughs> I feel like I've gone into a parallel universe where um, I, 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 I... You're playing all these parts. Yes, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did an impression of Ken Brannan. That was my favorite scene. Was movie. it your favorite scene? Yeah. It's a Still? Great... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but my favorite scene that was written before, not because of doing it, but I just my favorite scene written in the film. Yeah. You know, that 
That's it's a great piece great. of writing. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. it feels like it plays in two in two singles in a way. Like yeah, just, yeah, and it, yeah. And it's it's like a, the most beautiful game of tennis. Did you <laughs> do yeah. you yeah. lots of takes? Did you do lots of takes? I forget or? how many takes we did. I don't think we did more than five to eight or nine at the yeah. most. Maybe maybe less. I, and you talk about your dreams and you talk about your life. <laughs> yeah, shut up! Dude. It's so great. It's so great. There's that bit, another bit where you go. <laughs> Stop fucking this up, my it. dude. I love it. You're meeting one of your heroes. Just be cool. Yeah, be cool. Ah. It's, uh, he says, uh, Pacino says, so you never wanted a regular type life. <laughs> and, and, uh, Bob, may I call you Bob? Yeah. <laughs> Bob says, um, what's that, barbecues and ball games? Yeah. <laughs> I like his Pacino. Pacino's real good, yeah. man. Yeah, he does a good Pacino and a good De Niro. Yeah. Like, I could have seen him voicing over something for The Irishman. You seen The Irishman? <gasps> oh, man. A cinematic so masterpiece. But, oh, my God, you need to either... Set aside a whole day, or I, watch it in chunks. I, that that's opinionated. The views expressed by Spencer are his own views. You don't I like hated it. it. You don't like it, do you? Hated it. It was. I was like, oh my god, kill people. <laughs> it's like, Holy shit! Don't kill the audience with boredom. <laughs> anyway, Holly, Holly loved it. Okay, it was a great mom movie. A good mom movie? Mob. Mob. Oh, mob, mob. movie. I thought movie. I said mom movie. What no. are you talking yeah, about? It's great. Bring the kids. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, I just, I, dude, that and was... And when, when he says, uh, I hear you paint houses, that's, uh, that's, uh, <coughs> that's just pr exactly what it means. Not anything else. Yeah. Kilia, obviously your, your mother loves you because you're her daughter, <laughs> yeah. but she is actually a sort of a fan as well. No, it's not, it's not quite that. It's, um... Uh, no, <laughs> she is. Oh, goodness, right. Yeah. So, my, uh, uh, one day my mum came to set on the Star Wars set, uh, and I was getting this thing called Cyber Scanned, which is where you stand in this kind of loads of cameras and they kind of take your form and put you into a computer and make a toy or a, some sort of merchandise or your face on a cushion. Um, and so okay, yeah, I yeah. go off and do this and I come back and mum's like, I've made a great friend. And I'm like, brilliant, it's lovely, excellent. And uh, she's like, it's the merchandise, you know, director of all of Star Wars or something. And I'm like, well, wow, it's very impressive. Um, and then before I know it, what comes in the post um, is loads of cushions <laughs> with um, my face on it. So <laughs> my own mum, she gets to see it a fair amount, you know. But apparently it's not enough. So... Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. I was kind of blown away at how much merchandise there is. Yes. It's but really, also, and it's but not also, even, I mean, it's just the beginning. It was like the pre merchandise. Not even the real stuff is out yet. <laughs> my mum has all of it. And but doesn't know about the doll yet. So we'll This is it. so weird. I don't know. Is this in your flat or her house? Oh god, this oh, room. Right. Okay, so basically, she thought it would be really funny if I came home and it was everywhere in my. <laughs> okay, so this is. Oh, no. this is This is Amelia's actual bedroom. Well, the. <laughs> And we found the photo, but it's not like that now. That there is like another reason why I'm you single. You took a first date back to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> I just did this little thing once. <laughs> I don't have a CV, I just have a bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> but this is cool, though. So your mother a big fan, yeah. but Brad Pitt also oh, a very big fan. That was the best night of my life. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, there's a duvet. We're all ears. <laughs> Sheets. Slippers. Uh, no, yeah, there was this auction thing that happened, and um, I, someone, they called me and said, Would you, you know, do you want to um, auction something off, like maybe sort of an experience watching the show with you or something? And I was like, Okay, it's lovely. It's great for charity. Yeah. It'll be for some, you know, the, some something. Yeah. And it'll be fine. Yeah. Anyway, so I get there, and it's basic. It'll a be a good thing. thing. Yeah. Um, I get there and it's basically like this, it's basically, you know, it's the Oscars, like there's so many celebrities in this room and I suddenly remember that I said that I would auction something off 
and so the fear grows. Uh oh. <laughs> so I was petrified, absolutely petrified. And then um, the the person whose table I was on is a friend, and he was being very kind and kind of put the paddle up, and I was like, thanks very much. That's very sweet. That will be that. Uh, and then someone else's paddle up went up across the other side of the room, and I didn't really know. And then suddenly it was sort of becoming a, a bit of money, and I was kind of thinking, oh, this is absolutely mental. And someone went, it's Brad Pitt. And I was like, <gasps> lol. <laughs> 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 exactly. And I look over to the room, and he's got his paddle up. Brad's paddle. Brad's paddle. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Not quite. Well, it didn't work out because the person whose friend who's, was my friend, I think it was probably all set up, the person who's, who was my friend ended up, you know, doing the highest bid. But, um, Boo! Oh! Uh, <laughs> 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 a shitty friend! But, uh, yeah, I just kind of looked over with just the most insane emoji heart eyes being like, this is just the greatest <laughs> moment of my life. Wow. That's crazy, man. Getting auctioned off to date Brad Pitt. Ugh. Man, where's that for Kim Kardashian? <laughs> no, no, just <laughs> well, you know, you know, we're we're apparently in the realm. If if Pete Davidson, that thing is dating her. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> she have standards, so yeah, there you go. Yeah, but this compilation, this Graham Norton, great, two thumbs up. That's great. I can tell why y'all have been wanting us to check him out for a while. So we we don't have anything similar to this, man. We I don't mean, have, we no, it's just like a level of unfiltered. -ness. Yeah, the, the closest we come is like Kimmel or Conan when he got on T yeah. was on TBS. But those are so just childishly tame. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot more you could do on Graham Norton's show. Yeah. I want to believe. And that that to me, I mean, yeah. Even though people are like, oh, it's more censored now, but more censored now there means ten years beyond where we're at right now. Yeah, I mean, look, right here, you're seeing uh, top five Chris Pratt moments, and he's given the bird. Yeah. You can't do that on American TV. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, but this was great, man. Yeah. Let us know more. Yeah, yeah. Get, put some more. more in the comments. Says, yep. I think uh, Graham Norton have a poem on this channel. That, too. That's what I meant to say. That, too. That's what I meant to say. That, too. Anyway, thank you all for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting that bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. And until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. And unplug and do something epic. See you all next time. Later.